one that sued the land god. I thought any more about I have a word. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope? That you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight. As usual, among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. They're not attacking here. Can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in Riverhim's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands, no longer under Plainsong's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. You'll want to hear what I've got to say, Outlander. Outlander, we walk in fields of plenty. Shine. I'm in luck.
Sounds like someone's in trouble. those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Uh, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. That's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utaru who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mods leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. 
Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum route so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem, but all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The wide moths sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. There's no convincing you to leave. I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground, and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. start finding my way up to the top. I 
find a way up there. were made by machines. I should take a sea pouch to cure. It seems to mean a lot to the Ataro. Oh, 
time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole caster to get to the other side. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just hit them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. Cauldrons out there.
I should check the wide moss for pods. There we go. That should do it. Better get back to Q with these. back to river him from here <laughs> I got what you needed not a moment too soon did you find boss Brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Stay behind cover until I give the signal.
I guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. May your day be fruitful. It's been some.